what is going on guys fmu here and welcome back to a brand new episode of grassroots to greatness i've got a neutral grain bra bra i've got a neutral grain bra hmm <laughs> tasty <laughs> hmm remember note to self line of edible sex bras nice um neutral grain bar and a cup of tea so i'm ready to rock this party um I have gone to the final game of the season because um, I was going to do the Europa League, but then I was having a bit of an issue with my microphone stand. It uh, it was playing up, so I had to get a new one. Um, so I didn't record it and I carried on. So I'll catch up on that in a minute. Also, thank you so much for helping me battle the dick that uh, he's put in the six uh, dislikes on my videos again they creep up every now and again they seem to have like a bit of a roulette going on where they'll just sort of maneuver around fm youtubers and just whop six dislikes on a video uh for a few videos and then move on to somebody else and then eventually they come back around so uh thanks for helping me battle that muppet um there's quite a few things to go through to be fair the europa league ended in disaster um I'll show you that now. There's no transfer updates whatsoever. Um, but you saw us beat Leon, and then we lost to Frosinone. We beat Leon 4-2 uh, in the next match, which was sweet, 9-2 on aggregate. So happy with that. Really good performance uh, from the boys. Then we beat Sampdoria by four goals to one. Uh, this moved us, I think, into uh, just a, about a point of fourth place. So it was a case of all oh, Champions League could happen. Sorry, I'm just going to have to move the microphone stand a little bit. Sorry, guys, getting used to the new stand. Um, another great performance there against Sam Doriard. Uh, then things went to shit. Not going to lie, I was getting really angry. Um, with the way we were playing, the performances we were putting in. First of all, the local derby against Roma. We lost 2-1. We were we were poor. They were far better than the stats suggest. They deserved this win. They really did deserve it. They were, they were top-notch from start to finish, Roma. And we were just woeful. Then we came up against Torino, who are not the world's best team, but... They are a decent team, and they, again, the stats lie in this. They were far better than us, all over us from start to finish, just slapping us stupid. We then lost 1-0 to Celtic away, uh, Otavio with the goal for them. We did play a lot better in this than what we had done the past two games, but again, I just could not. There was just nothing coming forth from the players for me to think we can get something from this i thought they were pretty poor and this guy here nanand pejic was superb from start to finish this guy over the two legs was a fantastic player so i am actually going to scout him because i do need to do such a thing because I what he's one of those players now that's kind of entering the list of players that i could think about bringing in we did then uh, win 1 0, but we lost 10 9 on penalties. And look at this. Their keeper saved two penalties in the in the game itself. In the second half, he saved two penalties. We could have been home and hosed. I mean, we absolutely battered them for 90 minutes. And it came to the penalty shootout. And unfortunately, our goalkeeper, Moreu, missed the final penalty for us. Their goalkeeper scored theirs. So we were out. And they have actually made the final now. They beat uh, PSG over two legs. So they are looking bloody decent, Celtic, this season. So fair play to them. We then kind of bounced back a little bit with a 2-0 win over Bologna. Uh, again, we, we were quite dominant in that match. A fully deserved result. Uh, we then surprisingly beat AC Milan, who really fell away from the leaders, uh, Juve and Inter Milan. They've really dropped back. Um, 
the game was a lot closer than the stats suggest, uh, but Hoke with the goal for us there, fantastic to get those three points. And I was like, oh, this is it. We're getting a bit of momentum now. We're going to crack on with this. And then we went to Udinese and got beat 2-0. Udinese was struggling, really struggling. And they beat us by two goals to nil. We were, we were piss poor really poor so then i thought i'm going back to the controller transformation we haven't tried it for a while and we annihilated pisa by by six by five goals to nil uh 29 shots 16 on target 64 percent possession they are struggling in the lead though so you know it was a game that we should have won anyway uh, but we really went in balls deep in this one, really, and whooped them. Uh, and then last time out, we drew one all with Perugia. Again, a very dominant performance. We were just struggling to get the ball in the back of the net. Luckily, uh, Ferry Kano, who is a um, big target for Arsenal this summer, I believe. They've been sniffing around him now for a couple of weeks. Uh, with our goal and then it takes into the final game against Fiorentina we're in sixth place they're in seventh place um, and in terms of uh, Europe we can I mean it's we can still drop out Napoli can get in there uh, even Perugia uh, could probably get in there. It'd take one hell of a goal swing, but Perugia may... Oh, I'm struggling to follow the table across here. Oh, no, yeah, Perugia could still definitely get in there, couldn't they? I thought they were on 51, but that's Bazir. So, yeah, uh, they could still do that. Unfortunately, we can't make the Champions League unless Roma get really whooped and we win by an absolute... Mega. Oh no, I can't, I can't follow this across at all. Yeah, we've got the 20 plus 22 goal, so we could still make the Champions League, but we need Roma, uh, Frosinone to both lose. So, And we need to beat Fiorentina, which is not a guarantee at all. Um, Inter Milan look like they, they're in the driving seat. It's theirs to lose. Uh, AC Milan have caught up a little bit. But look at the gap between the top three and fourth. 81 points and 58 points. That is just mammoth. And that is one thing. Next season, I mean, we're even further away. Next season, we want to be in that top three or four bracket. So we've got a lot of work to do. It's going to be a massive summer for us. Talking of massive summers, there is a football club that is going to need one massive summer and that is Liverpool because ladies and gentlemen they got relegated from the Premier League on the final day and they are goners they are championship material next season they are a championship club they have dropped out of the Premier League shockingly so Everton stayed up fair play to Everton well done to them for that that was what we wanted them to do that's what they did uh, Bolton didn't make the playoffs in the end they missed out by three points uh, in the end Wolves have gone up to the Premier League via the playoffs there we can see using our face Colchester wallop Barnsley to get there mm -mm -mm. and Ebbsfleet are up they beat Coventry wow that's a top effort. But yeah, yeah Bolton look finishing 10th along with Wigan in 9th. So still a lot of big clubs in that league. Still a lot of big clubs. I wonder who's come up from non-lead this season. Who you got? Lincoln via the playoffs. And Oxford won the league. So well, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, Liverpool dropping out of the championship. Massive, massive shock. To be fair, um, and they they sat. They immediately sacked uh, Solbakken. Uh, play, a few players have had bids coming for them. Uh, Andres is one. Uh, Savic is moving to Middlesbrough. He's very, 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 very homesick, but he's going to Middlesbrough. So, whatever. We are suspend, suspensionoed. 
we haven't played a game for a few days or well, quite a few days to be fair i think it was a week i think we've been long we've had a whole week to prepare maybe a bit longer um but we are without both of our central defenders which is a bit of a kick in the cock but we'll have to just deal with that uh vincent abubakar is retiring as is el capitan uh jochim Azura. So those two guys are going to be retiring after this game. Let's just hit the old quickly pick. So it goes with. Let's put in Savage and Gomez in. Interesting. Um, yeah. So we're into the final game of the season. We've got Fiorentina away. It's going to be a difficult, difficult game. Um, but I'm hoping. I'm, I'm really hopeful we can do it and stay in Europe next season. So that's going to be massive as part of our recruitment process. He's going to be able to say to players, you come to us, we're going to be in Europe. You like? You know, that's what we need. We need to be in Europe. Um, I have started uh, to look at uh, the players for next season. Uh, Galini's going to what? F no, Huddersfield, uh, I believe it is as well, just so you know. Um, but I am starting to prepare for next season um i've been in talks with a couple of players on and off we sort of go for a bit of a to and throw in terms of transfer fees and contracts and stuff with a few players but we'll go through that in the first episode of next season because i want to really sit i'm going to take a good couple of hours i'm going to sit and i'm going to really hash it out because i want to make sure we get the right players in because one thing i've learned uh, since the last episode is when the going gets tough the players we've got at the minute aren't strong enough to get going they need they needed uh, an international break to step away from the negative results to go away uh, and then when they came back they were a lot more positive wow Zatino there hit the post so yeah I'm, I'm not overly happy with the uh, mental side of these players we, we, we've been very lucky in the past we've gone to Perugia and their players kind of all just clubbed together very quickly and brought into what we wanted to do uh, same with Inter Milan they were all really like geared up they were angry because they were having a bad season we went in there we sort of calmed them down gave them focus um, you know, got them to buy into the philosophy that that we we are promoting in this in this series and in this save, and it worked out really really well there. Whereas here at in uh, here at Lazio, sorry, it's going to be a little bit more of a there's going to be more of a transition period. I think there's going to be a few quite a few players that are going to need to go, and we're going to have to bring in the right kind of players. So I'm spending a bit of time looking for those guys. We are dropped down into seventh at the minute. We need, we need to get a goal, but they are on the attack. This no look good. No, 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 no. You bastards. Shit. Shit. We might not be in Europe next season, which in one respect would really help us because we could really focus on the league but in another respect financially and in terms of attracting players it's going to bum us it is going to bum us this is poor right we're getting a lot of possession but we're not doing a lot with it so Overload, team talk, aggressive, demand more, confirm. Bob, do that. So that's kicked in now. Get you off the pitch for you. Um, that's going to be about it for now. I'm not going to change anything else at the moment. We are not going to get anything from this. We have completely, we have just, see this is, I mean it's annoying, I am annoyed, but it gives me, like I said, it gives me a really good indication of what needs to happen as far as his team is concerned. They're going to get a second. Oh no, he saved it. 
let me just for the last few moments of the game hit that but we're gonna go overload um in for you no not that one that one that's what I want just for the last nine seconds of this game they're going to score from this corner I've got a feeling now well cleared way up oh no <laughs> there's me getting all hopeful damn it damn it well we've learnt lessons we've learnt lessons we know now we know now that uh, oh, it's so close. This this league though, barring the top three, is just so close. And um, oh, that's really fucked me off. But never mind. I'm gonna give him a bollocking though. Unacceptable. Finished eighth in the end. Oh damn it! But anyway. That's okay, it's okay, it's not okay, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I know the board are, are pleased with what we're doing, which is odd, but they are, they're really pleased with what we're doing at the moment, or well, they were. Inter have won the league, fair play to them. Yeah, yeah. What's... Oh. <laughs> I had to offer forty-four and a half million pounds for this guy, so we're not going to get him. But I wanted to see what sort of contract he would be after, and I can't offer him one anyway. So that's pissed on that. So we'll just walk away from that. Um, oh, that is so annoying! So annoying. No, fuck off. <laughs> oh, look, if we'd have won that match, we'd have been in, we'd have had no problems. We'd have been in Europa League. Not an issue. Not an issue. But alas, it is not meant to be. Not meant to be. Well, never mind. I'm going to carry on badgering Cecina about that guy they wanted 44 million for. He's only worth 700k. I'm going to keep badgering him because they've gone down. So that's always a good thing. We should be able to pick him off relatively cheaply. Um, probably have to pay about 8, 9, maybe 10 million for him. But I think he's going to be a beast when he gets to a certain level. But anyway, guys, for now, uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm a bit deflated on that. Um, I, I was quite confident that we'd be able to scrape the last Europa League spot, if nothing else. But uh, clearly not. But it's clo like I say, it's a close league. I mean, Perugia were in fourth for a shitload of the season. They finished tenth, so could be worse. Uh, but hey, ho, there you go. Guys, for now, I'm out of time. But as always, it's been an absolute humdinger of a pleasure being in your face. Bye-bye.